This conference will now be recorded. We recently wrote a blog on Page and Field Configurator. Now we want to go ahead and do a video blog so we can demonstrate the actual steps. So the first thing we want to do is go to the Page and Field Configurator. So we're going to navigate there. We're going to uh, go to Enterprise Components. So Enterprise Components is navigation towards the bottom. Enterprise components. Then we go to page and field configurator and page and field configurator. So what we would do here is we would add a new value, but I went ahead and uh, I already added uh, a purchasing page. So I'm going to do a search and then you'll see we have purchase order update. Okay, so here you're really selecting what the component is that you want to, to update. So uh, what I want to do here is go ahead and do a couple of things. The first thing we want to do is you know, give it a description, which I'm saying, you know, purchase order update, but you can really uh, put it uh, anything. Now here is where we have to establish criteria. So in this case, I went ahead and I said, I only want to do this for purchase orders in business unit US 001. So you can see if you go into edit criteria, you can simply go ahead and put in business unit equals US001. If you wanted to add another one, you would just hit uh, plus sign. And then when you hit the magnifying glass, really it's almost, uh, you know, there's different pages on the purchase order. So you can select from different pages and then you can go into each of the field names. Uh, you can see they're all, all listed here and just select what you wanted to base your criteria on. But we'll go ahead and keep it at just business unit US001. Then what we wanted to do is add our we wanted to do. So um, I have a few here. Um, so um, on the PO reference page, we're going to go ahead and um, we will take the PO reference and I'm going to go ahead and make that uh, required. So it's required. On the vendor short name, um, we're going to change that to sub name. Okay? So we can click on modify label. We can also add another one that says, okay, so for the field um, and we can again, we can select whatever field we want. Let's just say for the field POID, that'd be an easy one. We want to actually um, modify that one. So we're going to name it POID video, just uh, for the sake of our presentation here. And uh, you can also enter in uh, default values if you'd like. So that's uh, another possibility. And let's go ahead and do one more. Make it easy. Let's go ahead and select the business unit. And we'll actually hide that field. So you're hiding a field, which is marked as required, right? So, uh, which is fine for our demonstration. You could also decide to uh, hide an entire page. So if you hit the magnifying glass, um, these are all, everything you can, uh, you can actually go ahead and uh, look up different page names and hide them. But, uh, so what we've done here is we've hidden some fields, made them required, uh, modified the, the label, so we can uh, show you what that looks like. So. Um, we're going to go ahead and now and move to our user list. So what that really means is um, we can apply this at the header level or sequence level. We can also say um, selected roles or selected users or users with exceptions. So here what we've said is this applies to all users. So all users um, with the exception of Aaron Brown will see those changes. So perhaps in this case, Aaron is a you know, super user for purchase orders and he needs to see everything as it originally was. So he, he will not see these changes. So we'll go ahead and we'll save that. And then we need to map it to the portal registry. So here what we're doing is, you know, this is our portal. Here's our, our uh, navigation, purchasing, purchase orders, add update PO. So we select that. And then we have to apply the configuration. Okay, uh, completed successfully. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll save it. 
So now what should be happening is you're, we're going to see those changes on the on the page. And I'm going to kind of do this in reverse so you can see what it looks like, and then we'll remove it and we'll go back. So if I go to um, add update purchase orders, it should be in my recent, uh, add update POs. Now we will go ahead and we'll add a new PO under business unit US001. Now, um, what you, you should see is here's our SUP name. Remember, we changed our SUP name. We hit our business unit. So business unit, I believe, is usually right here. Um, we've also made the PO reference uh, required. If you recall, uh, we did that. Uh, and um, remember, we changed PO ID to PO video. So uh, that change has been, been made as well. So uh, as you can see, um, you know, these changes have been made on the, uh, the PO update page. And again, this is configuration, it's not customization. And if we were to log in at Aaron Brown, we wouldn't see those. And in fact, if we go back um, to add update POs, and let's say we choose a different business unit, we can choose you know, any one, Australian operations, and we go ahead and we go to add, you'll see that those changes that we made are not there. The POID is the same, the business unit is there, uh, supplier is called supplier, not sub name, PO reference is not um, uh, required. So it only applied those for what we said, business unit US001. So really cool stuff that you can now um, change pages, put in criteria, have exceptions by users. And so, you know, if there's a lot of stuff on a page that you just don't want to confuse the average user for, you know, perhaps you could, you could, you know, um, eliminate this whole section of lines or perhaps ship to due dates or hide it. There's a lot of things you can do that, uh, you know, for some of these pages um, that, uh, that will make it uh, a lot cleaner for, uh, for your, for your users. It don't affect the functionality, isn't a customization. You don't have to worry about it it's stored as an object it gets upgraded so if we go back to our page and uh, field configurator and we do our search and we look go into our purchase order now you can see everything that we we did here um, we can also go back to mapping it and we can actually remove this mapping, okay? You wish to continue, yes, and it's been successfully removed, so we'll save it. So now, if I go back to my purchase orders, and I go ahead and add a business, PO under business unit US001, you can see that those changes are now gone. Really, that uh, that straightforward. So, a very powerful tool. Um, so, I know uh, in the past, uh, you, know, you had to go to App Designer, and that became a customization. Developers had to get involved, but it's really this straightforward uh, to be able to uh, change the look, the feel, the actions on a uh, on a page. So, um, hopefully, this uh, provided a little bit of value. And uh, any questions? Uh, as always, don't hesitate to reach out.